Okay. So the owner is here. We, we have many ways of doing it. If the owner wants to say a few things, that's fine with me. Okay, so the owner can say what he did, what he thinks, where he has a problem, so he can also say what options he sees. Sometimes there's an owner who doesn't want to speak. So that's okay with me, you just say, no, I don't have nothing to say. So who is the owner here? Yeah, you want, so you want to tell us something here. So that everybody can hear you. This piece was found in 96 as a very, very young tree. It was only five millimeters thick, so it was really not bonsai material at the time. Yeah. It was uh, it was grown in bonsai pots uh, deeper and then like this for uh, uh, since the beginning. It wasn't in the garden or something like that. He tried to make it in natural shape. He thinks he succeeded in up to a certain extent. And he would like to, to uh, hear what you have to say about it. Fine. Okay. I can say it's a lipa, by the way. Lipa, yes. Yes, you have to say that. Okay, okay so um, this tree is obviously done by a person who has a understanding some of bonsai concept. While he says it, it is natural, it is a bit like a bonsai. So like, like, like horizontal branches and, and, and a bit round like that. So also the bonsai book, the old bonsai book tells you, you must see the whole trunk must be free. Right? Okay, that's what the bonsai book tells you, you must see the whole trunk. Okay. Nobody in Japan does this, only our bonsai books tell us this. Okay, so people cut out everything here. And you see from the side, there's no branch up front. Now, 20 years ago, we thought this is good bonsai. And now we say, this is the front. Because a tree does have branches up front. It's only that you want to see through. You don't, like you want to see the trunk, but it's, it's transparent. Especially with the deciduous tree, when it has no foliage, you will always see it. If we change that around, we will see that the nebara is not existing at all. Of course, we have to go back and say this is the front So how do I decide about a tree? I decide about this part, the lower third of the tree. I don't even look at this here. Every amateur looks at the crown first. And when you go to, the, to nature or you go to a nursery, you, you, call, you select material, every amateur looks at the crown. And every professional ignores the crown and only looks at this down here. This Why that? Because this will make the tree in the future, and this you cannot really change much. It is extremely difficult to now, for example, create a nebari here where there is no nebari. But it's very easy to, to make a new crown. So we start with our decision with the parts of the tree which can not really be changed. So this is a good start for the tree. Fine. Then it's a bit high. Unfortunately there is no branches here. Well, in the future there could be. Question is really should it not be a bit shorter and a bit more compact 
kompaktnije. With the result that the trunk looks even stronger. Da bi izgledalo snažnije. That's a paradoxon. You make the tree shorter and more compact and it, and it looks bigger. Uh, skrat, smanjite drvo da bi ono izgledalo okay. veće i snažnije. Okay, I know you will hate me anyway. Znam so, ćeš me mrzeti so sve jedno. So, this. Well, how about making it shorter here and Kako bringing this up? Kako da skratiš ovo i da ovo napraviš kao vrh? Okay. Oh, terrible. I, how, Brozno, about, ne. how about doing this here? A and ovo, this pa da ovo bude vrh. Possible. Moguće. So the, the problem is, whatever I do here, je šta god ovdje at, the, urediš, at the moment it will look ugly. U tom trenutku će izgledati ružno. That's a typical phenomenon of bonsai design. That to very je... often it looks ugly after the styling. Da, posla oblikovanja <coughs> izgleda ružno. So, that's one of the rules you learn. And bonsai demonstrations in, in magazines, you always see a, a genius creating a piece of art out of, out of a shrub. Na svim bonsai demonstracijama vi vidite kako genije napravi umetničko delo počeši od grma i odmah izgleda lepo. And so people think, ah, always bonsai when I do something must look better. Znači uvek kad uradim nešto na bonsaju on mora da izgleda lepše nego pre. The truth is that the artist spends a lot of time and money to find a piece of shrub where he can do that. Uh, suština je da neko ko sprema demonstraciju provede puno vremena i truda i potroši puno novca da nađe takav grm od koga je to moguće uraditi. But real life isn't like this. U stvarnom životu to nije tako. In real life you very often first have to make a tree ugly and then after a while it will be beautiful. Prvo morate drvo da poružnite, da bude ružnije, pa će tek onda posle nekog vremena izgledati lepše. So, uh, if, if you gave that tree to me, Da, da ste mi dali ovo drvo. I would cut it here. Isekao bi ga ovde. I would probably bring these up. Podigao bi grane. And I would bring these up. I and hope for some growth. And make, make a, a, a roundish crown. I napravio okruglu. But okruglu it will kranu. look, it will take five to ten years Ali to look good. Ali treba će mu pet do deset godina da bi izgledalo dobro. Now, I don't want to be too rude to you. Ne želim da budem suviše grub. I would suggest that you do minimum this year. Da uredite najmanje ovo ovdje. You see, this is your new crown. To je novo vrat, novi vrat. And you bring these up. I ovo se podigne. You see what I'm doing here? Da bring these up. Radim. And bring this. And bring Vidite them up front also. Da ih pomerim na napred. Okay. And so that so that somehow this is a bit covered. Da so nekako to not stand like this, but stand da ne like stoji that. rašireno nego da bude zaokruženo. It's the man in the park. A big deal. <laughs> <laughs> Why do they do that? I don't know. <laughs> do you do that? Huh? In Barna? <laughs> <laughs> On the beach? <laughs> in the park? Okay, how poor man, huh? So okay. Some so what what what's your feelings when I say such such things? <laughs> He's still thinking. Okay, if you want some nebari here, you, you, you could do an air layer, uh, partial air layer, or you could take some small lipa and, and attach it here. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, you can really cut here. Cut here, cut here, cut here, and very rudimentary, and, and start a new tree. Možeš i da skratiš sve to tako da pusti nove grane. Or, well, to leave it as it is, da, ako je ostaviš kako is jeste, of course always an option. Što je uvek opcija. The question is, if you do continue to doing this, what what will it look like in 20 years? Ako nastaviš da gaješ na ovakav način, pitanje je kako će izgledati za 20 godina. And I think in 20 years it will from here from here to have no taper. No taper, you know understand taper? Uh, in, in in Italian. In Spanish. Okay. Ako, ako nastavi tako neće imati suženje. Sužavanje. Okay. It will always have no taper. So the question is really, do we have an informal upright or do we have a broom form? The informal upright form is a form of a pine tree. 
neformalna uspravna je forma za bor. As no lipa in nature Nijedna ever has an informal upright. Nema formalni uspravni stil. Uvijek je forma metu. Okay, the broom goes like that. Tako. Okay. So that that is the broom. And this is the top. Okay. So that's about giving you some throwing ideas. I know you're totally confused now, but that's just, now you, you can start thinking. Okay, so next one.